Hello students. Now we are going to start the new chapter that is chapter number third, projectile motion. What we are going to study in the projectile motion? What is the meaning of projectile? What are the different terms related to the projectile motion? That is angle of projection, velocity of projection, what is trajectory, what is time of flight, what is the horizontal range? Okay. Then maximum height, we are also going to derive the equation for the projectile. Okay. That is the equation for trajectory we are going to derive. Then the few definition in the beginning of the chapter. Okay. So all these points we are going to see in the projectile motion. In the beginning of this chapter, we are going to see the few definitions. The small, small definitions. Few definitions you have studied in the lower standards. Once again, I am going to repeat these definitions. Because you should know all these small, small things and then we will proceed. So we are studying the third chapter, projectile motion. Chapter number three, projectile motion. Okay, now, motion, what is the meaning of motion? Motion means, you know, change in position with respect to time, from one position to the another position. Okay, so change in position of a particle with respect to time, that is called the motion of that particle. So motion means change in position. Now the question arises, what is position? Now, position of a particle, you know, it is a point in the space at which, where the particle exists time. Okay. Let us write one by one these definitions. First, the meaning of motion. What is motion? Motion means this is the change in position. Change in position with respect to time, with respect to time is called motion. You know, motions are of different types, like the motion in a straight line, which is called translatory motion, okay, rectilinear motion. Then, you know, the oscillatory motion is there, simple pendulum, oscillates about its mean position. Oscillatory motion, vibratory motion is there, rotational motion is there, circular motion is there. Okay, All these different types of motions are there. Harmonic motion is there. Okay, So, uh, these motions are there. Out of that, the projectile motion we are going to study. So, motion is nothing but the change in position with respect to time and that is called motion. Okay, Now, change in position. What is the meaning of position that we are going to see? So, position means position means it is a point in the space. What is position? Position it is a point in the space at which Okay, the particle exists or the object exists at that instant of time. So what is position? It is a point where the object exists. Okay, at that, at this instant of time. Where is that particle? Where is the object? Okay, that point is called the position of that object. Okay, now the next definition which we are going to see 
that is displacement. All these small, small definitions are there, but you should know all these definitions. Displacement. What is displacement? Displacement is also change in position, but in a particular direction. Okay, I am stating here the direction because displacement is a vector quantity. And that's why the direction of the displacement must be stated here. So displacement is nothing but change in position. Okay, what is displacement? The change in position The change in position of particle or object in a particular direction is called displacement. Okay. Then displacement is a vector quantity. It is a vector or it is a vector quantity. Okay. Then we are going to see the next term that is path length. Path length. What is path length? Path length it is the distance traveled. Okay. It is a distance traveled by a particle, distance traveled by an object during its motion. It is the actual distance traveled by the particle during its motion. It is called the path length. So it is nothing but it is a distance. Okay? Path length is defined as it is the distance. It is the actual distance. Traveled by a particle or travel by an object during its motion is called during its motion that is nothing but the path length so path length it is a scalar quantity it is a distance okay no need of uh, giving the direction here in which direction that uh, uh, distance is covered okay so Path length, it is nothing but it is a distance and it is a scalar quantity. It is a scalar or it is a scalar quantity. Okay. So displacement and path length. What is the difference between them? One major difference, you know, it is one is the vector quantity. Displacement is a vector quantity and path length, it is a distance. So it is a scalar quantity. Okay. Then as it is a vector, so the direction is must there and it is a scalar, so uh, direction is not important here. All right. What are the properties of, what are the properties of the displacement? Displacement, it is, you know, displacement is the shortest distance. Displacement is the shortest distance. Okay. Then, you know, displacement may be zero, positive or negative. Displacement and path length, if you compare, then if the displacement takes place in a straight line, then path length and displacement both are equal. So displacement is always less than or it is equal to the path length. But displacement cannot be greater than the path length. Okay, when they are equal, displacement and path length, they are equal only when, you know, the displace, the motion takes place in a straight line. That time they are equal. Otherwise, displacement is always less than the path length. Okay, then magnitude, this displacement, you know, the, it is a vector quantity. So like this way, the characteristics or the properties of displacement we can write. So let's see the properties of or the characteristics of displacement. The next point which we are going to see, the characteristics of 
displacement number 1 you know displacement the magnitude of displacement gives the shortest distance between the two points the magnitude of displacement gives the shortest distance between the two points shortest distance between the two points okay this is the uh, displacement now let us discuss about this shortest distance what is the meaning of this one suppose the particle is moving along the circle and it completes okay half the circumference for example see particle is moving along the circumference of the circle so let these points are a and b particle is moving along the circumference like this way it is going okay this is the center of the circle let this is the radius now in this case what is the displacement particle moves along the circumference of a circle and reaches at point b initial position is a final position is b what is the displacement in this case displacement the magnitude of displacement gives the shortest distance the displacement is the shortest distance between the two points between a and b the shortest distance is r plus r that is 2r and not this distance okay so displacement in this case displacement in this case it is equal to ab which is equal to 2r 